lovely people, my name is Sophia, and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today I'm building in Strangerville Plaza, which is one of the neighbourhoods in Strangerville, and I'm building a bit of a trailer park today. Not exactly, but I don't know what else to call it. Um, this ends up being a two bedroom, two bathroom lot with a garage workshop space. I don't really know how to describe it, but you'll see it in a minute. But I built this house well, not exactly a house, it's two trailers, but I built this lot for my current household. And I built it a while ago, so they've since, like, sort of outgrown this house, if I'm being honest with you. But I still wanted to share it because it is one of my favorite builds that I have done recently. And I just love it. I love how it turned out. And uh, this is a four sim household. Well, it's three sims and a dog. We have the main sim, like the air of the legacy uh, Jasper, we have his uncle Manu and Jasper's girlfriend Cherish and they all live on this lot together with Manu's dog Rosie who was a stray dog in uh, Strangerville Plaza who they adopted and those are the sims who are living here. Um, Jasper is an engineer so I get a robotic station in the garage and uh, Manu is a covert operator for the military so he has a listening station in there and Cherish has the nerd brain aspiration, so she really likes woodworking, so there's quite a few nods to that here. But this brown trailer here is for Cherish and Jasper, and uh, Jasper's a bit of an interesting sim. He has absolutely no taste in decorations or clothing, by my standards. Um, he's just... his outfits in Create a Sim are just lathered in a heavy coating of movie hangout stuff, which if you know uh, that pack, you know it comes with some crazy patterns and some crazy swatches, and that pretty much describes Jasper. Um, Jasper, let me see if I can recall his traits real quick. He's romantic, clumsy, and he loves the outdoors, and he has the curator aspiration, so you'll see a handful of collectibles inside of this trailer just because uh, I wanted to show some of his personality in here, and Cherish, I can't remember her traits, let's see. I know she has the nerd brain aspiration, I think she's a dance machine, she's a snob, and some other trait that I can't really remember right now. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry about that. But she has those traits for sure, so... Um, She's not a big fan of where they're living. The only reason she's living here is because Jasper promised her a nice pretty house in uh, Shady Acres, which if you don't know is the fancy neighborhood in Strangerville. So that's the only reason she's here. Uh, she's not going to be here for long, if you know what I mean, because that non-committal trait, it really loves to destroy households. But uh, Manu is the last sim who lives here. He has the fitness aspiration, and he is Elona. He's paranoid, and he loves music. He's a music lover. Said that the wrong way around. So that is the household who lives here. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I love making interesting households. Um, and I mentioned that Manu is uh, Jasper's uncle, but they were pretty much raised as siblings because Manu's dad, which is Jasper's grandpa, um, he got abducted by an alien three days before turning into an elder. So we have Manu, the alien baby, and because uh, his dad was an elder pretty much instantly, let's just say they didn't live long enough to finish Manu's childhood. So Manu's much older sister raised him. So uh, Jasper and Manu are pretty much brothers, but technically uncle and nephew, you know, the average um, complications that come with Sims families, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the household. That's all I want to say about them, really. I've just blabbered over Jasper and Cherish's trailer, like, completely, but I hope you can see what I was going for there. I did struggle a bit decorating the front, um, but I, I'm not sure which trailer is my favorite. I think Manu's trailer, which is the screen one I'm decorating right now, I think that might be my favorite. Just because, I don't know, I think it looks really cool. I end up using a lot of a tile from Realm of Magic on the inside of Manu's trailer. Uh, not sure why, but I thought it was tacky and old looking and was perfect for what I was going for. But here, I'm just adding a little cactus 
garden on top of Manu's trailer. I don't know, I end up covering it with a roof piece. I'm not too sure why I did this, but I think it looks cool. And it was just something a little more interesting to do on top of this bump out instead of just, you know, a roof piece. But I end up using those Realm of Magic windows, lots of Realm of Magic on this trailer, funnily enough. Even though Manu is not a spellcaster, he is definitely an alien. He He's, he's just, he's blue, you know, like a smurf. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I really love aliens in The Sims 4. I know they're one of the worst occults, but they're one of the ones I use the most often, and I'm not too sure why that is. But, yeah, no, uh, it, it makes things interesting. And now I will be moving on to this carport thing that, I'm just gonna call it the workshop, because that's what it ended up being, and also adding a few more trees. But the workshop has to be my favorite part of this lot. I just love how messy and busy it is on the inside and i use these windows from uh, jungle adventure as well as some ones from snowy escape just to look like you know garage windows uh, i see garages like this all the time in australia because i have a lot of family in australia and uh, strangeville plaza really really reminds me of australia so <laughs> i just build houses i see there here so I don't know how accurate that is, but I don't know. I think they fit really well in here, which is where I got the uh, inspiration for this carport from. But I just get a truck, an orange truck here. I imagine it was Jasper's, which is why it's orange. Um, it's sort of his favorite color. So you'll see a lot of orange on this lot, especially inside of his trailer. His trailer is just a nightmare <laughs> in my opinion it's not bad per se it's just very very vibrant which suits him but i'm not too sure if it will suit anyone else so <laughs> i don't know i like how it turned out i think it suits his personality really well but uh i'm just moving on to the landscaping here plucking out tons of cacti and joshua trees and succulents because we're in the desert here in strangerville and I also end up getting some irises from the uh, Romantic Garden stuff pack, which I just got recently on the, the sale that I think might still be going on on Origin. Uh, it may not be by the time I post this, but currently there's a sale, so that's why I got a Romantic Garden. And funnily enough, the <laughs> first time I used that stuff was here in Strangeville Plaza, even though it is quite literally a garden pack so I thought that was ironic but here you just saw me pull out this fake lawn looking rug thing from the live edit menu of Strangerville which I love it's so tacky and I thought it was perfect I end up getting like a lounge chair on there I wasn't really expecting my sims to be able to walk over that rug thing but they can and they can just use objects on top of it like it's a normal rug so that made me very happy, but um, there's lots of outside spaces on this lot because, you know, most of the lot is outdoors considering the trailers are so small. So I just get this fake table and chairs from the debug menu of base game over here by Manu's trailer and lots of planks of wood and just tons of junk. Because when I was building this original trailer, um, I was building on a budget because I don't use any money cheats in my gameplay so i needed my household to be able to afford to move here um so that meant i cut a few corners like there's lots of debug items on the slot but at the same time i also use some really expensive items so don't don't look at it too hard it doesn't make too much sense but in the end they could afford it so it worked for me i don't really remember the price tag on the slot uh it's probably around 50 60k uh when I used it for my current household, it was a bit cheaper just because, you know, I used stuff that they already had from their previous house and stuff that was in their inventory to decorate it. But I switched things up a little bit just for the video because a lot of it wouldn't make sense and a lot of it stuck out like a sore thumb. Like photographs of The Sims, you know. Which surprisingly tagged the lot as custom content, which I wasn't expecting. I thought I'd lost the OMSP shelf on this lot. And then I just realized it was the pictures, so there's no photographs of random sims on this lot, so you'll be able to use it just fine. And if you want to use it, if you like playing in Strangerville, but you can't find a good house in Strangerville, I've got you covered. You can find this on my gallery, 
the information on that will be in the description down below as well as the price of the law and all the packs I use just pretty much everything's in the description so if you're ever curious you can just look there but I've made a few cuts here and there just because you know there's lots and lots of landscaping on the slot and it gets pretty uh, repetitive after a while but this is the outdoor dining space which is just the picnic table from jungle adventure with the matching barbecue which is in a barrel which i thought was perfect and i just grabbed some sauces to put on the ground which is kind of nasty but i didn't really care and i don't think the sims who live here care either but this is their uh sun lounger i was talking about before and i grabbed out a meditation stool because jasper likes to meditate uh that was, I mentioned having lots of child sims doing lots and lots of wellness and yoga and stuff a while back. This is the same household, so he was one of those poor children that I forced to do the downward dog for like three hours every day. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but it's true. So, you know, at least he likes wellness after all of that. But here I used this uh, wheel from the debug menu of Cottage Living, which I've used before but i can't remember when i last used it oh i last used it when i did the sunny shell challenge so it's, it's a good wheel you know i use it quite frequently but i rotated it with the tool mod to make it look like it was leaning on like a bunch more debug objects from cottage living and those tire stacks i think they're from eco lifestyle that well they're from strangerville but here i'm pulling out the listening station and it's a very strange object that you really only need once on a blue moon for the career, but when you do need it, you need it, so, you know, it's, it's here. It's kind of strange looking, but I think it fits the vibe of this place, and um, I pull out a cork board from base game over here just to hang above the uh, woodworking table, and I get a bunch of statues front that you can make when your sims woodwork because like i said earlier cherish has the nerd brain aspiration so she likes she likes woodworking so i imagine those were all created by her and i just get more tires over here by jasper's robotic station um, i've never played around with the engineering career or the robotic skill before so it's been really fun getting jasper to tinker around and constantly get electrocuted because I did not realize that was um, so common when you're doing uh, robotics in The Sims. They just get zapped constantly. And I know they can make like a helmet and like a arm sleeve thing to stop them from getting zapped as much, but Jasper ain't that ain't that talented <laughs> yet. So he just he just has to suffer and get electrocuted. But since I built this lot for them originally, and since they moved in, uh, Jasper and Cherish had a kid, so they've sort of outgrown the space. I ended up putting some, like, kids' toys in the garage and such, and expanding their trailer just slightly. And just recently, Manu and Cherish have had a kid. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit complicated, don't ask. <laughs> you know, Cherish has got the good old non-committal trait, which is so much fun for home wrecking, you know? <laughs> You know, it's 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 only a good Sims household if there's drama, in my opinion. But just like cluttering up this shelf from Eco Lifestyle, if you could hear, I just forgot every word known to man for a second there. But yeah, I get lots of clutter on here, and that bucket from Laundry Day that's on the shelf there, I forget to delete it, like on camera, but I'll delete it later on. So don't worry, there won't be a strange clipping bucket in the final version of this but just getting some more boxes and some more plants in here just to make it feel more alive and uh just getting a dog bowl out here for rosie rosie's such a cute dog i normally don't bond with the dogs or the cats that my sims adopt because they don't really look visually distinct after a while they all start to look the same but rosie is really really cute she was an old dog and this a lot for my household had like the stray dogs lot tray so Rosie just showed up and she was she was an old dog but I liked her too much so we took her to the vet and got her youth I was gonna say youth eyes but that sounds way too close to youth and eyes oh no um made her younger again so she's just she's just your average adult dog now and she is lovely but 
as you can see, I'm doing tons and tons of landscaping just to finish off before we move on to Jasper's trailer, Jasper and Cherish's trailer. Or just Jasper's trailer now, because Cherish lives with Manu currently, but uh, we won't talk about that. This is, this is set in the past, this video, I suppose. But I use this, like, booth chair from Dine Out in here. I don't know why, I just thought it was funny. I just wanted to make a strange trailer, just a little bit strange, like, make you squint at the decisions that were made in here, because that's Jasper, that's Jasper for you. Um, but this is like a studio kind of situation because there's no bedroom in here. And I used that bed from Island Living. I used the same bed in Manu's trailer but in a different swatch. So if that bothers you, you can change them out. But I just liked how it looked anyways. And you might have noticed there is not a full kitchen in here. And I don't know why I couldn't fit one. Like in a way that made me happy. So <laughs> I didn't put a full kitchen in here. They just have a fridge. But... If you're planning on playing in this house, uh, for like gameplay and stuff, it does not matter at all that the green trailer is the only one with a kitchen. It's just as easy because they both have fridges so everyone can access everything, so, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You can take my word for it. Even though it might seem strange that this trailer doesn't have a kitchen, you don't technically need two full kitchens for a two-bedroom lot, so, you know, it all works out fine. But we got this sofa armchair i'm not really sure what you'd call it it's from base game i really like that set but i get a bunch of random paintings and clocks and tapestries on here because you know just wanted to get some random junk because it suits jasper <laughs> but this is the um dresser for the space and i forgot to play test if your sims can actually reach it oopsie if they can't you'll just probably have to move that jungle adventure plant but you know dressers aren't really required anymore because if you want to go into create a sim all you have to do is click on the likes and dislikes in the simology panel and if you want to change outfits really all you need is your sim because you can just click on them so it doesn't really matter that you can't access that dresser but i hope you can but speaking of accessibility this lot is fully play tested so you shall have no problems even though Manu's trailer is very, very cramped, so you may have some routing issues just in your sims talking to each other, which I uncovered in my gameplay when my sims lived in here, not when I was playtesting, so I don't know. But that uh, basket of laundry there is not going to be in the final version because it was blocking my sims access to that side of the bed. But in the end, both sides of the bed were accessible, so you will have no problems using this trailer. And... Uh, as you can see, I'm just having a bit of an identity crisis trying to figure out these curtains here. Curtains give me such a headache, but I love, like, mixing and matching them with each other, and I just love how these uh, base game curtains look with these ones from Island Living. Those are actually some of my favorite base game curtains, so I was happy to use them here. But I'm just getting lots of clutter in here, changing out some swatches, and I also end up putting lots of stuff onto that, uh... What's like, what's that called? Like a windowsill? The part of the bay window? I didn't show it on camera because it was very buggy and I kept getting lost and somehow ending up inside of a palm tree. But uh, I cut that out so you didn't have to watch that. And you also won't see Jasper's bathroom because I didn't feel like showing both of the bathrooms even though they look very different. But we have moved on to Manu's trailer, which is my favorite of the two and the only one with a full kitchen. Um... Even though all, both of these trailers, I'm pretty sure, have almost the exact same number of tiles, uh, Manu's trailer has more of an obvious floor plan. Like, it's got the kitchen, it's got a bedroom, you know, fancy, fancy things, you know? <laughs> a whole extra wall, how luxurious. But this is the kitchen, it's tiny, there's a bit of lino underneath it because I put carpet in this trailer. I wanted this trailer to just look as outdated as possible. You got the tile on literally every wall, including the bedroom walls. You got, you know, the lino, the carpet, just, it, it feels old, you know? Uh -huh. And I just really love how it looks. This trailer is my favorite. And I end up cramming a lot of stuff in here. We got a two sim dining table with fruit bowl and some sunflowers. These sunflowers are one of my favorite decorations in the game. I use them all the time. They're just so cute. Even though I'm not a big fan of sunflowers in real life, but in The Sims, they're very cute. 
and I end up having another crisis with the curtains in this trailer, but I cut most of that out, I think, just so you didn't have to watch me suffer. I also struggled to place that armchair with a console table behind it because, you know, there's not a lot of space in here. There ends up being only three seats in the living room, but this uh, TV unit from Tiny Living counts as a bookcase and a stereo, so you got lots of stuff to do in here. And there you saw me make a quick cut as I struggled with this armchair. I was fighting for my life there. <laughs> but uh, just get a lot of decorations on this console table from Base Game. And I used tons of the Blooming Rooms kit on this lot because it's my... Is it my favorite kit? I think it might be my favorite kit. And then my second favorite kit is definitely the Industrial Loft kit, which I also used here. But I used those plants all of the time and I also placed a guitar in here because Manu plays the guitar because he is a music loving sim and uh, he also somehow got the indoorsy lifestyle despite the fact that I sent him jogging quite frequently so your boy never leaves his trailer he's just an anti-social paranoid indoorsy person like he never leaves he never wants to leave and he never wants to talk to anyone so I end up fitting a punching bag over here which shockingly works you can use the punching bag and get to the dining chairs no problem i just have to move the shoes to the other side of the punching bag but it works so uh your sim never has to leave this trailer if they don't want to like manu but <laughs> there's lots of outdoor space he could enjoy and your sims will likely enjoy if you want to play in this house but he, he won't be doing that um, but here I'm looking for some base game debug planks of wood to use to line underneath this archway because I didn't like how jarring the cut from uh, the hardwood and the rug was and because I used an archway I couldn't put a fence there because it would take away the wall so I just used that debug plank of wood but I'm just going to be grabbing some decorations onto these side tables here and this uh, island living bed looks so good in here but I also end up getting a cabinet for uh, Manu's medals because, you know, he worked his way quite far up the military career before he chose his specialization, which uh, means he no longer gets any medals, but he still displays all of his old medals. And, oh, uh, I place a dresser in the corner here, and its footprint was way too big, so I couldn't get it to work when I was playtesting this, so I swapped it out to a small dream home decorator. Uh, dresser so everything's fully functional sims can get to both sides of the bed and i just put the same decorations on it plus a few things in the drawer and there's a dream home decorator mirror up here and i will just be grabbing out this uh metal case here and this will be where i will sign off uh we'll just be moving on to the bathroom soon and then onto the screenshots where you can see all of the parts of the lot i didn't cover on camera but because we're coming to the end i just wanted to say thank you for sticking around through this very rambly voice of uh, um if you like this video you can leave a like or comment to tell me what you think it would absolutely make my day and you can subscribe to my channel as i lose my words uh to see more content from me in the future if you'd like to I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.